Welcome YouTube, and this is part two of my introduction video to my business. My name is Kevin, and my business is called Platinum Shine. Like I said before, in my first video, I've just created this channel so we can network. You know, all of us uh, who are in the pressure washing game, we have questions, concerns, ideas, good wins and bad, whatever the case may be. I created this channel for us so that we can get together and we can knock heads around, man, and just trying to find out what's going on. But let me introduce myself again. My name is Kevin. My business is called Platinum Shine. I am right here located in Millersville, Georgia. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. Well, if you want to go before that, I'm from Boston to Augusta to Millersville, Georgia, where I'm doing pretty well down here. You know, and uh, I just want to create this so we can just uh, see what we can come up with, you know. But people ask me, you know, how I got started. Um, basically, how I got started, uh, I had a regular nine to five. You know, I'm a, a truck driver by trade. And, you know, I just got tired of just driving. I figured, you know, I always wanted to have my own business and do something else. And I always wondered, you know, what else could I do? And I used to see a lot of guys pressure washing. And I said, you know what, I can do that. It didn't look too hard, you know. So what I did, basically, I started up my own mobile detailing shop. Got a couple of buckets and some rags from like Family Dollar, Dollar General, whatever. You know, and I figured, well, you know, I'm going to give it a try. And if it doesn't work out, the only thing I've lost was a little bit of time and some soap and water and some rags. And, you know, whatever. I got a business. I mean, I've got a regular job. I just go back to do my regular job. But, you know, I started up mobile detailing. I'll come to your job. I'll wash your car at your job in the parking lot, at your house, down the street, around the corner, whatever. They're just completely mobile. And um, from there, it, it took off. You know, it, it really took off. I was actually surprised. So so good, in fact, that, you know, my, my boss, my employer, uh, saw my passion and he let me, he let me go and um, not fire me, but he let me go and pursue my dreams as long as I stay part-time with him and I help him out. So I said, you can't beat that. What employer is going to do that? A lot of employers will just say, hey, either you work for me or you don't. You know, my employer allowed me to go to pursue, pursue my dreams and still be employed by him. Cool. So I went with it, you know. But um, so that's how I started off in... Uh, to make a long story short, kind of, I was in Savannah, Georgia one day, off of my off of my run with FedEx. That's who I was. That's who I'm employed by. Went to go eat at the Waffle House, and out there in the parking lot, there was a beautiful setup. I'm talking about the tank, pressure washer, the truck. It was just a beautiful setup, and I was intrigued. I was like, man, I need to talk to this person. He have a nice setup, you know. So I went inside and I looked around and a lot of people who were there were like more or less elderly, didn't look like the type. But it was just one guy sitting at the counter and I spotted his uniform and how he was dressed and I said, yeah, that's him right there. So we kicked it around for a while, talk, talked about this and that and I asked him about his setup and how he got started, what he doing and he's telling me we're doing good things, you know. He had pressure washing contract with different contract the uh, trucking con uh, trucking company excuse me in Atlanta, Savannah where we were, Statesboro, around he had CXX trains he was doing and you know, and I told him what I was doing, and I told him I had uh, one little verbal contract deal with a U.S. Postal Service in the town that I live. So I told him about that, and he cut me off. He said, wait a minute. He said, wait a minute, back up. He said, uh, I've been doing this like 10, 12, 13 years. You only been doing this like about two or three years. And right now, I've got more experience than you, but you're bigger than me on paper. So I, I looked back at him, and I was like, well, what are you talking about? He says, I don't have a federal contract. He says, the U.S. Postal Service is federal. So I... Uh, I looked at him, I rolled my eyes around in my head like this, and I was like, you know, I never thought about it that way. He said, well, how come you only have one? And I was like, I, I don't know. I said, I know somebody 
who approached me about cleaning the trucks and I went and I got it and I was just doing that plus washing people's personal cars and then driving this truck. I didn't think nothing about it. So he talked about how I was in the door and everything was looking so good and I can do so much more than what I'm doing. He talked it up so much that I went and I jumped on it. So that one post office that I did turned into seven more. So I was cleaning mail trucks, the U.S. mail trucks, from Aiken, South Carolina, all the way down to Macon, Georgia. Well, Macon, Georgia is like my biggest, my biggest contract. Those are some big yards down there. So that goes to show you, you know, you never know who you're going to meet on the road. I love to talk to everyone. And this guy turned me on. And his name is Chris. His name is Chris from Curbside Detail. I'm not sure what part of Georgia he lives in. Somewhere around Valdosta area, I believe. Not, not, as, not, as, no, not as far as Valdosta. Come up some. Um, Vidalia. I think around the Vidalia area. But anyway, his name is Chris. I don't know his last name. And uh, we used to be in contact, but my phone broke and I lost all my contacts in the old phone. I couldn't get them back. But his name is Chris Curbside Detail. He's the one who put me on game. He told me about pressure washers. He told me how to do some minor repairs. He told me about O-rings. He told me about what to look for, what not to look for, you know, and I owe it all to him. Because before him, I was using, like, Pressure washers that I bought out of Walmart and Lowe's. I mean, I didn't even have a concept of how really pressure washers work. I saw other people working them, and it looked easy enough, so I jumped into it. You know, I had a... a I, on my next video, I'm going to show you, because I, I, it's broken in my shed. I never got it fixed. I just kept it for sentimental reasons to say, this is how I started. So I'm going to show you how I started and with, and with what I started with. And... Like when I was pressure washing, I used to let that little pressure washer run. It didn't even have a, a bypass on it. And I'll tell you about bypasses too. It didn't even have a bypass on it. So like when I was cleaning vehicles and I had a brush and I was brushing the trucks and brushing cars and doing this, my pressure washer was running the whole time. And little by little, I was burning up the pump. Okay, and like my pressure wash, them pressure wash I was buying from Walmart and Lowe's didn't even last me six months. And I couldn't understand why. I thought they were just cheap. I knew for a fact they weren't commercial grade, so I know I had to up my game. But when you're starting out, you got to start out with what you can work with, what you got, how far your pockets can go, as a matter of fact. So I was burning them pressure washers up. But when I was talking to him, he was telling me to go ahead and get a commercial and learn how to use some chemicals because you're doing too much you're doing too much brushing and the reason why he brought that up because he asked me how many hours was it taking for me to do a location here or a location there and i was telling them man i would start like about four or five in the afternoon maybe a little bit earlier and i won't finish like about two three in the morning depending on what i'm cleaning the location and how many vehicles on the yard and he was like man that's 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 too long the hours don't match up with your money but as long as you're happy. So I said, well, you're talking like you have a, a, a better plan. How can you show me how to move this thing quicker? And he introduced me to these different chemicals. And I didn't know at the time that you can buy different chemicals or mix up different chemicals that's not going to hurt the surface of the vehicle or whatever you're washing. Let it sit for a couple of seconds or a minute and you pressure wash it off and it'll come off clean. You can put your, you can rub your, your finger on it and it won't even smudge up on your finger. That saved me time. That, when he introduced me to chemicals, that changed the whole game for me. So I'm going from like 8, 9, 12 hour jobs, sometimes 14 hours depending on how big the yard is, knock me down to like 5 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours, no brush. All those brushes, see I got these brushes against the wall right here, I used to have more than that. Well, I've got some in my trailer, but these are just the excess ones that I used to carry in my trailer that I take out that they were just taking up space because I'm not even using brushes like that no more. I'm talking about I was wearing myself out in this Georgia sun. And I didn't mind because it was mine, my business, I was working it, and I was loving it. But I was tired, though. 
After them eight, the 12 hour, 14 hour days, I was tired because I was straight brushing. When he introduced me to chemicals, like I said, it changed the whole game. I would spray these chemicals off, doing the two step process. That's another thing I'm going to teach you about. Uh, uh, doing the two step process versus the one step process. So I was doing the two step process like how he taught me to do. No brush, them vehicles were coming clean. Don't get me wrong, when I clean 18 wheelers, there's going to be some nooks and crannies that you know you, you, you can't get to. You have to use a brush on, on a, a good bit of it, but not like how I was doing it. But when he ended, I was so glad I ran into this dude, man. I mean, yeah, we kept in contact, I mean, not contract, we kept in contact for a couple of, couple of months. And then, like I said, I broke my phone. And when I broke my phone, it was so crazy, I couldn't transfer my contact so unless you called me I could not reach you and he hadn't called me I've been looking them up I can't find them so Chris from curbside detail this is your boy Kevin from platinum shine give me a holler hit me up on this message on this Facebook by the way everybody hit that like subscribe the bell notification all that stuff okay all that stuff let I'm gonna let you know where the notifications go let you know when I drop new new videos and stuff like that but you know I'm here to tell you guys that I'm going to be candid. You know, I'm, I'm, if that's the right word to use, I'm going to, going to be straight. Well, people ask me, oh, what's going to be so different about your videos compared to everyone else who's doing instructional videos or informational videos on pressure washing? I'm probably going to talk about a lot of the same stuff. But the difference is going to be I'm going to give you my version of it, my twist. You know, I don't, I don't know everything. I don't claim to know everything. I love to listen, though. And I'll guarantee you this. On my channel, I'm not going to BS you around. Some folks will give you the story, but not the full story. Some folks will tell you what you... What they think you might want to hear. Just for likes and views or whatever the case may be. But, you know, if I'm a person who knows nothing about this and I'm very interested in it, I want someone to gonna tell me the straight up real deal about it. I didn't go to school for this. No one walked and held my hand. Everything I've, I've learned is trial and error and asking questions. If I speak about it on my channel, I've done it, I've been through it, or I know a little bit about it. That's guarantee. I'm not just gonna run my mouth on this channel just to, just for the sake of doing it. Now, I told you I love to listen. If you're asking me a question or if you're telling me something and I know nothing about it, my mouth is closed and my ears is wide open because I love to listen and learn, especially about this business that I'm doing. I take this business very seriously. I'm coachable. I'm very coachable, okay? So I'm not going to BS you around on my channel. And, and, and if you have any questions, ask me. I'm new to this thing. I'm new to videos. You're not going to see no super special effects or sound or hear sound effects in the background and all that fancy stuff all of these veterans do. I'm pretty sure one day I'll get there. But right now, it's just it's just bare bones. You know, I'm, I'm just making this video here. I'm, um, my editing is not even great. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just winging it, you know. But, uh, but yeah, back to what I was saying, the, you know, the UPS contract is my biggest contract, but I do a lot of residential, not a lot of residential. I've done. So I've got a a, a lady in, in Augusta, Georgia, that she calls me to, you know, she she man. I think she either she owns or she manages some duplexes in in Columbia County that I pressure wash for her. And plus, you know, I've got some friends or some some uh, some houses I do work for driveways, walkways, whatever the case. And I, I do a lot of personal cars. So I'm still I'm still in that game. I'm still doing what I started. How how I got here, you know, I'm still doing that. But anyways. Let me see. What can I what can I tell you about this that that you don't that you don't know? The job looks easy, but it's not. You know, it, it, it's work. You're out here in the weather. When it's winter time and it's cold, it's cold. In the summertime, when the sun's at twelve o'clock noon, it's hot in Georgia. I'm grinding. All of us out there is working. Let's get it. There's money to make. There's a lot of things out here that's dirty that need to be cleaned. 
Let's go ahead and get it. This is part two of my instructional video, pretty much not really instructional, but just my introduction from me to you so you can understand who you're talking to, know who I am, feel a little bit more comfortable, come to my channel, kick your feet up, watch me with a beer in your hand or a cigarette in your mouth, do what you do, think about the questions you want to ask, and if you see me doing something and you think it can be a little bit, I can do this job a little bit easier or better or whatever the case may be, man, please tell me. Because in my trailer, when I show you my other videos, what my setup looks like, I don't have hose reels. I don't have the hose reels or the electric hose reels or this, that, and the third. Everything is bare bones. I have no problems winding up my hoses on the wall of my trailer. Like I, like I, I have no problems doing that. That's how I started. I'm not in a rush. Yeah, true. What well, they say, time is money. It saved me a lot of time, a lot of hassle, a lot of untangling hoses, but... I don't mind. On my next setup, when I get an open trailer, yeah, I'm going to get a lot of the new toys. But right now, my trailer is just straight bare bones. And when you see my trailer, you're going to say, damn, that's a lot of stuff you got in that trailer. I've got guys here in Millersville that when I talk to and they see my setup, they love my setup. Everyone seems to love my setup. But they say the same thing, man, you have a lot of stuff in that trailer. And my, my response to them is that, you know, even though I live in this town, I don't hardly have any work in this town. And that's fact. I'm on the road. I'm on the, I'm on the interstate, interstate 20, interstate 16, 75, 95. I'm, I'm on these interstates going to do my contracts. And most of my work, well, except for when I do, you know, some residential houses and some people's personal vehicles. All of my contracts are is evening works. I mean, it is evening. It is evening work. I, there's no way I can get around it. Because think about it. My biggest contract is the U.S. Postal Service. They're out there delivering mail all day. I can't get to them until they come back into the yard in the evening time. So when mostly all the cars, I mean, all, all the vehicles are back on the yard or coming back in, this is when I'm working. And sometimes it takes me about 12, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning before I even finish. So... In the winter time, yeah, 30 degrees, 20 degrees. Sometimes it's it's uh, it's cold. I'm 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 washing these vehicles, and, and 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 the windshield of the vehicles is icing up as fast as the water, you know, hit the surface. Yeah, I'm I'm I can tell you about it. I prefer not to be that way. I wish I had a, a, a some contracts I can just get up in the morning, like you go to work and be home by five. I wish I could, but the contracts that I have, the jobs that I do. All mine are late evening work. So, that's how it is. But, like I said, I'm going to show you inside of my trailer on my next video. All the junk that I have. You know, like I said, I, I can't. Uh, and the reason why my, my trailer is so, so, so stuff is that, you know, it's evening work. So, if something was to break or I need a part, all the stores are closed around 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock. I can't go to a pressure washing store where I buy my supplies and get equipment and new nozzles. They, they, they close at 5. So, and I can't drive all two and three hours away from where I live to go do a job and I get shut down because of a 45 cent O-ring, you know? So that's why my trailer is the way it is. And uh, a lot of guys who do local work in their hometown, they don't understand that. They don't understand what I'm doing. You know, we do the same job, but they don't understand the way that I do it. So that's why I got to be able to go in there and pull out an extra pump or an extra wand or an extra this or... Or patch up this or patch up that. I, I, I've got to be able to keep it, keep it moving. That's the name of the game. I'm not driving three hours and I have to come back tomorrow. Drive all the way back to, to uh, the spot to get, a, to get a new O ring or whatever and then drive three hours back to finish a job. No, once I'm out there, I'm going to find some way of completing that job. The only thing that's going to stop me is if my pressure washer stops completely and, and you know, I need that to do the job. I can get around everything else. I can pull back out some brushes and start scrubbing the way I used to, but I'm going to get that job done. So, anyways, this is me. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And and and, and let and I've got a I've got an Instagram. And what is that Instagram? I, I think you just type in platinum platinum shine auto or something like that at at Instagram. Just Platinum Shine. I've got some pictures on there you can look at. I'm going to upload more pictures. But when I get everything situated 
and everything all fancy, I'm gonna have the the you know uh uh the little notification at the bottom of the screen where it says Instagram and all that fancy stuff you see other people do on their videos. But like I said, I'm just uh, it, it's bare bones, man. I'm I'm down. I'm I'm back on the grind. I'm on the grind. Uh, I'm I'm trying to learn. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this the best way I could. So just bear with me. Over time, it'll get better. And, and I'm going to show you some terrific jobs. And we're going to talk about it. All right? Anyway, that's my video for the day. It's raining outside. The weather's kind of icky. So I'm taking this time to make this video and just kill a little bit of time. And plus go over my supply list to see what I got to do. And, uh, you know, I'll be ready when the sun stops popping out again. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's your boy Kevin, Platinum Shine, Millersville, Georgia. Y'all stay tuned to me, and I will definitely, definitely talk to you later.